loved ones and welcome back to my channel. Oh, you were greeted by a belch Hello. from Mr. Finley. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, we are now leaving Dom's in Hartford, Connecticut. And well, actually this is in Windsor. We just left Hartford. That's where we stayed um, last night at a hotel. But currently we are on a journey to Vermont. I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now in my past few videos about wanting to check out Vermont as a possible place for us to move and start to like put roots down. You know what I mean? Just because, you know, in summary, the West is a scary place to live in the summer times. And um, I'm sure that you guys have heard me talk about this many a time, but um, you know, having to be evacuated from the wildfires. I don't want my future family to have to deal with that every summer depending on where we live and also on the east coast is our entire family you know finley's family my family um, in georgia and virginia and then i have a ton of family in new england so right now we are heading to vermont to kind of check out survey the scene see what we like see what we don't like and just take in all of the beautiful fall scenery because the leaves are starting to change but i'm wearing my fall gear i'm prepared for any leaves at all to look at me change colors and for me to admire them i can't wait and um I wanted to say that back in 2017, if you guys have been watching me for a while, it was kind of during Vlogmas 2017, Finley and I did this exact same thing when we were trying to move to Oregon. So I highly recommend if you're wanting to move to a place, I get questions like this all the time. How'd you find where you were gonna live? We took about four road trips from LA to Oregon to kind of like go up the five. We would take exits off and be like, oh, let's go and check out Newburgh. Oh, let's go and check out Eugene. And then we kind of like refined our our search from there and then once we found a town that we actually liked we would go and tour places around there if you really want to move to a place you got to put in the work you got to go survey all the towns kind of figure out what the vibe is like what the people are like talk to the locals go to the shops all of the things and so that's what we're doing now for Vermont but right now we are currently going to Deerfield Massachusetts which is like on the way to Brattleboro Vermont which is in like southern Vermont and we actually have been to Brattleboro before one time in January of 2020 when we were taking our um, car that we drive now like our daily driver the Lexus home from Virginia we went on a trip through all of the Northeast and then across all of Canada and on that Northeastern trip we went up to Vermont and checked out Brattleboro and spent pretty much just like an afternoon there. And then we spent a little time in Burlington and Virgins, but that's really the only places that I've been. Oh, and Putney. I was vlogging during that time, so some of you may remember that. That was the last time that we were in Vermont. Granted, we did see it in the winter, but we're just trying to kind of see it in the fall time now, see what it's like with just like all of the leaves changing, which is gonna be a beautiful, gorgeous, and amazing time, I'm sure. But also just like when the weather's a bit more bearable, loves for a road trip. So we're um, in a rental car right now. We got a rental Toyota Corolla, baby. It's pretty high tech. Look at this screen. I'm loving it. So. Goddamn Tesla. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a god one of the goddamn Teslers. One of those bus cars. What, yeah, one of those, Elons. one of them Elons. Mm -hmm. Driving behind the wheel, feeling, feeling like I could self, put on self drive. <laughs> That's it. If I ever get a Tesla, I'm gonna say that every time. Put in auto drive, Elon, take the wheel. Anyways, I'm really just blabbering a lot. I missed you guys. Thanks for being patient with me. We've been on the East Coast in Georgia and Virginia for two friend weddings, and we've been kind of doing that. And then we did some wedding stuff ourselves finally met our planner, our caterer, all that stuff when we were in Virginia, so that's really nice. And I'll probably do some kind of like a wedding planning update video, like a, either a sit down or like showing you my planning process right now and like where we're at with that, but this isn't the vlog for that. I just missed you and I'm talking a lot and I just can't wait to show you where we could possibly be moving to, you know? When in Rome, baby. Woo! Let's give it up! So guys, the last time we were here, we went to this brewery that's like right on the corner down here, and we took a photo 
right here where all these potted flowers are but it's so crazy to see like the green mountains behind us like not completely snow covered and yeah, this is look at that picture and see what the difference is are the mountains behind it and I can't no you were like facing the town in the photo more but everything was like white and covered and everything like that but this is downtown Brattleboro I love all of the architecture in these northeastern towns where it's just so much like old brick and it just looks way more historical compared to like west coast towns where I feel like the cities were built like so much more recently that the infrastructure just doesn't really look like this. I mean obviously there's like pockets of buildings that have been preserved for that long but you never really see like full towns that look like this out on the west coast very often so this is really nice. Also I'm obsessed with the fact that we're here around October because there's pumpkins and fall decorations like everywhere. So we're heading to the historic district of Brattleboro we're, we're right now downtown. Place. We are in it. There it is the classic northeastern white spire look at this sour slushy incredible with the gold and the gold reusable straw they stepped out for you baby they really mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. sorry y'all can see my sweet eye. oh no it won't be up still i was gonna tell them about then i'm posting a post while you're filming a film hey there ho there folks i'm wearing a couple of fall colors right now i put my cardigan on over my flannel because it is a little chilly it's like in the high 50s here right now beginning of October but I just wanted to update you on our Brattleboro adventures because like I said the last time that we were here it was January 2020 we didn't really like go into many shops and like talk to a lot of people granted today a lot of the shops have been closed but we did go into this one skate shop slash head shop and it was called enter the void or the void it was just called the void. But we went in because Finley was looking for new bolts, right? For your wheels on your yeah, skateboard. Like for skateboard. Yeah, just some skateboard hardware. And we almost didn't go in. He was like, ah, should I get it? Should I not? And then he was like, you know what? Let's just go in. And we went in and we made immediate connections with Mickey and his girlfriend. We both forget her name which I'm kicking myself for forgetting, but we just like started talking to them about where we live now, where we're from, all this stuff, and they were like, move here, you will not regret it, there's a punk scene, you're like two hours away from Boston, you're super close to New York as well, and you could like go to cities around while also being in Brattleboro, which is like not horrible cold weather in the winters. And you know, earlier when I was saying that I took a photo of Finley by Weston Station, which is this brewery that's like right on the corner there where I was filming earlier. I just looked at those photos and I was like, oh, I thought that it was way more like, you know, skeletal in the winter time and way more cold as well. Um, but when we were talking to Mickey and his girlfriend, they were like, no, honestly, like it's really not that bad. Like it snows and then it melts the next day pretty much. Like it's not horrible. Um, and we were mostly just talking about like the music scene, the housing kind of situation here because housing is like pretty small from what I understand. Like there's like just really not that much of a selection. So after we left that store, we went to a place called Hermit Thrush, which is a brewery that does only sours. So only sour beer, which is normally not my thing, but I got their sour double IPA, um, which is why I'm probably talking in a loop right now, brothers, because I'm a little tipsy. Finley got a slushy from them that was like a sour beer mixed with grapefruit and it was incredible. It came with a reusable gold straw. Like, they stepped out, okay? Did you love it? Yeah, well, I took a picture of it to post. It was so pretty. <laughs> and we were sitting there, and there was a couple right next to us, like, sitting beside us. Just farm country, baby, over here. Classic red barn. Oh, this is the ch this is the retreat farm that, that Rhiannon was telling us about. Anyways, we um, just met Rhiannon and Evan, and they moved here during the pandemic. They came up to us um, at the brewery we were just at, and we're like, hey. Rhiannon was like, I'm a huge fan. And I was like, yes. And then we started just asking them all about the area. She originally grew up in like, you know, more rural Vermont and now lives in Brattleboro with Evan and he's from Providence, Rhode Island. So he was kind of talking about like the scenes um, in between like there and here and the comparisons between them for like hardcore music and punk scenes and stuff like that. And also just like housing and like how they felt about like the political kind of stance here and all these kinds of things. So we had a great conversation with them. Shout out to Rhiannon and Evan. 
And as well, shout out to Mickey and his girlfriend too, because they were like, literally in five minutes that we were in Brattleboro, we were like, oh my God, we already have friends. <laughs> and that's just not how it is in Oregon for us. Like not immediately, you know what I mean? So um, it was very refreshing and fantastic. And I just wanted to update you on how we're feeling right now. We just checked into our motel that we're staying at. We're staying three nights in Brattleboro, but because we have this rental car, we're gonna be kind of like looping around, road tripping around and checking out towns. And so we're starting to do that right now and we're heading to New Fane. N-E-W-F-A-N-E, -E, baby. Because Finley found a Zillow listing, right? I'm buying a house today. <laughs> He's being so OD, it's so funny. He found a Zillow listing for a house that he really likes and he's like, I just wanna go and check out the town around it, basically. Okay, I'm talking to you guys on my phone now. My camera battery just died, but it literally never told me it was even on low battery, which I'm very confused about. Anyways, I'll just talk to you on my phone. It's honestly impeccable camera quality, kind of stepped out. Um, but we're heading to Newfane right now just to kind of check out the area. And then I think we're gonna go from Newfane to Jamaica, which is, we're not flying all the way to Jamaica, baby. We're going to Jamaica, Vermont, and just kind of seeing what's around, what the haps is, just like I said before, kind of checking out the vibe, if you will. But when we were talking to Rhiannon and Evan, um, they also said to check out Newfane, just as like an area to go to, and then also Dummerston. We're just heading in this general direction now, and the leaves are very much so changing colors way more here than they were in Connecticut and Massachusetts. And the river. I mean, check out this river. Incredible. You're chained in, but you can take it for a little bit of a ride. We're just walking on the old train tracks Does around. Like a a little Ooh. bit. Is it staying blue? Uh, no, it's not. That's a good point. here, but it's I mean, I'm telling you, like, I just, like, cannot stop finding mushrooms. Right yeah, every time we look away, we find another rush mushroom somewhere else. It's like I feel bad even walking because I'm pretty skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's kind of one to put behind your ear. That's what I was just thinking. I swear to God, literally, like, we can't even take two steps without finding, like, four. It is incredible. I think you look really handsome. Beep, beep. So yeah, I think that the railroad tracks went all the way back here through, and they've ripped up most of the ties now, but there's a museum back there that we were just kind of passing it's through. Like elevated, so yeah. It's like, it was probably like elevated and packed and stuff. Chelsea Royal Diner. A delicious breakfast sandwich. One for you. I got pumpkin pancakes with Vermont maple syrup. just driving down this road back here is like Marlboro College which closed down but we took this road through here and we've taking we've been taking back roads towards Wilmington and we had to pull over I was like please pull over because just look at this pond and then all of these trees it's just insane it's like the craziest thing I've ever seen we were just talking about how from the road it looks like the water level is higher than the road. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is higher. Feet, like, yeah, it's a, I'm right there. That's like gotta be two or three feet tall. Yeah. Like, it's just and so we were talking about the how the dam is made and if it's you know made by a human or natural. Yeah, I think it's just like natural debris snagging and catching and then just building up and holding strong. There's another smaller one down there that I just don't know why any person would take the time to make it. So yeah. <laughs> but over here is also just so insane like 
What do you think that this white little building up there is like somebody's pump house or this is somebody's land or something? Uh, I mean, yeah, all this is definitely private land. Yeah. Uh, it's so beautiful back here, guys. Fall is upon us. God has smiled upon me today, boys. That's right. Well, you guys, this is the old Wilmington. One of our, it's very adorable. One of our observations though is that like Brattleboro had immediately like people around our age, younger folks around, but this is mostly like, we've pretty much only seen like older people on the roads, which is fine. And also a lot of inns. And so somebody good. recommended this place to me because there's like a diner that they liked, but um, it does seem a little bit in bumfucky, you know? It's like a great place to retire. Yeah, let's retire here. <laughs> Brattleboro is about 40 minutes from Wilmington here, and um, Marlboro is closer, but Mar Marlboro, it's really a hard word to say. It's pretty much like a very, very small town, like church, you know, fire station. It's literally like where we live now, um, which it doesn't have a main street where we live, and we want that, to be able to like have shops or like places to take people when they come visit, and that whole kind of a thing, or at least somewhere like close by that has that. This is just like perfect rolling hills. It kind of reminds me of my, where I live. Oh, where exactly, I yeah. I can't believe it. Do you want to go pick an apple? Hello, Randy and Ron John Jamaican son. I know you're watching this. This one's for you. Uh, we picked up a four pack of heady toppers. And if you live in the Northeast, you know that these are a hot commodity, but I've never tried one. One time last year on Zoom, I was talking to my uncle Rob. He lives in Massachusetts and he was like, for the heady toppers, you know, some people, they go to the truck and they stand in line waiting for the delivery truck on the day and everybody pays the guy and brings him back to their house. I was like, that sounds insane, <laughs> but I love it. So we just got some of those from the Putney corner store. And I was just telling Finley, I am so amazed at the capacity of like good, healthy, and just like the variety of options for food and drinks and beer, like good beer, in all these corner stores. And most of them have like a little deli selection as well for like healthy salads or wraps or sandwiches. I feel like around us it's more so just kind of like gas station food, right? Like taquitos chicken nuggets you know i never really get anything because i'm like i can't because i can't eat it uh because it's like all meat and stuff but putney is really cute i'm really glad to kind of be exploring around a little bit and we're gonna go to this thrift store resale shop right now and see what they have in store do you guys like my new hat i got a vermont leaf tourist hat from hogback mountain yeehaw okay we're at the putney community garden we just went to the Putney Food Co-op. Totally awesome stuff in there. But I wanted to come over here to see what grows best around this time of year. It looks like there's squash, herbs, maters, peppers, some beans, beautiful dahlias. I wasn't expecting dahlias to do well out here. Sunflowers. Oh, some lavender too. This is pretty big spot too. There's yeah, like kale trees. It looks like somebody's growing some kind of grape or something back there too. These are all echinacea. Wow. Well, looks like a lot grows out here. I wonder what zone they are. If you know the zone Putney is in, comment it below. They have some delicious kale growing. We're at the Grafton Cheese Company where they have lots of award-winning cheeses. I took a photo on my phone of the other like trophy case that they have. But look at this, like they're earning awards for their cheddars, sharp to age championship cheese contest. Incredible. <laughs> they have so many. We got a two year age cheddar cheese one of the award winners, you know? And I realized, I thought it was wrapped in plastic, but it's actually wrapped in black wax, which is awesome. And now we're just kind of moseying around the retreat farm. They have a Jamaican food stand, which is unfortunately not open today. And then this is a farm stand and it's pay whatever you can. So I'm gonna go try to find some animals. Hello, little buddy. I wonder what your name is. <laughs> so itchy. 
Do you love that we're scratching you because you're so itchy? Hello. I feel like just its hind legs is like the size of me. like you know just like or even bigger like if you took his whole haunch you know what I mean yeah like literally one, one leg of him would be like the size of me basically yes are you so itchy like, you yeah, can't like stop rubbing your shelf yeah. I want it, did you try to get it to come ne near you? Yeah, it's an electric fence, so it probably doesn't really Oh. Close. I really can't get over how tall it is. <laughs> what, you're mad we left you? <laughs> Hi. Mmm. Those things are delicious. Wow. Look at that really furry one up there. Is that a ram? Wow, you're really fluffy. Mm. Hi, honky tonks. Hey, you're wow, honky you're pretty honky tall. Honky. You're a pretty elegant looking honker. Hi. Mm, that's delicious. Mm, that's delicious. Mm. Hi. Hi, honker. No, what's up? Did that what's hurt? Up? Yeah. My hand's not very tasty, so. Yeah, just scratch yourself on there. Nobody really cares. That thing's kind of like a hippopotamus or even like an anteater. That snoot. Hi. Hi. Really itchy, I love you. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, they keep using each other as scratching posts. You're kind of like Ducky. She does that too. See you later. They do root a lot. You're really itchy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just a little landscaping. Nothing to see here. Kind of just puttering around, rearranging things in the pen. Yeah. That looks out of place to me, too. I don't really see, like, if you had a couple goats and a couple rooting hogs like this, you could get a lot of landscaping done. Totally. <laughs> Should we hire you for our next excavation project? <laughs> signature white house, the white paneled house that is just everywhere in New England. Church. Yeah, Walpole's cute. Gotta love some good architecture. It looks like a clean, quaint town. 
we're living it up. They have a chiropractor. This is their main street. Oh, I, I can't remember the other one. Oh, look at that. Restaurant. Oh, that's the chocolate restaurant your brother told us to go to. Pull over. Pull the fuck over. <laughs> chocolate house. Chocolate mice. They take three days to make. Little cutie guys. That looks delicious. Cents a dollar a bite. <laughs> no, it's worth it. <laughs> Finley got a mocha from LA Burdick Chocolate, and I got, this one's for Lucinda Limon, the chocolate mousse cake. I'm gonna be, really, I forgot my papaya enzymes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Looks beautiful. I love it. I know the lighting's a little bit crazy, but we just passed through Woodstock, and honestly, like a lot of these towns in Vermont, I just, I kind of expect them to be pretty small, because Vermont is a small state and they have low population towns, but we just drove through Woodstock and it was literally so poppin', like so many people shopping on the streets, there's like really bad traffic through the main street too. I think that maybe, you know, it could be some tourist season kind of stuff, obviously, because the leaf people Keepers are out like ourselves but it looks like a beautiful and very historic town so I'm gonna read about the history on my phone right now um, because we decided not to stop with the amount of folks and also how little there was to eat <laughs> we just figured just keep on going to Kichi or is it Kichi or is it Kishé <laughs> or is it Kish a hot air balloon the Kichi River Gorge it's tethered or um, it looks like it's not tethered, actually. Takeout, one, 
or two, they didn't have enough staff and they closed their hours earlier, so it would say like open on Yelp, but then when we got there or drove there, they were actually closed, which is, has been an issue not only around Brattleboro, but I feel like more so out here, even more than Brattleboro. I don't even know, it's just fucked up. Yeah. Anyways, we finally found a place to eat at, but yeah, if you're coming to Vermont, just keep that in mind, you know, call ahead. See if they're actually open, even if it says it online. But I'm in a way better mood now that we ate and that I just ate an ice cream cone, coffee flavored. It was delicious. But now, we are now moving from Middlebury to Virgin's which is actually where my auntie Kathleen lives. So we're gonna go over and stay the night at her house. And my cousin Jackson, who is in college at the University of Vermont, um, he's going to be there as well. So he's gonna be staying the night at her house. And in the past few years, this side of my family, my dad's um, sister and then her kids have like started to put more like roots down in Vermont, which has been really cool. And then my on my mom's side, I also have another cousin, Davey, who lives in Vermont as well. I think he lives in Huntington. But yeah, we have a lot of family up here and I'm excited to even see like a small portion of it. Also, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can meet our future ring bearer for our wedding. His name is Anthony. He's uh, my cousin Jackson's son. And he is currently on a vacation with his mom in Maine, but he's getting back on like Sunday night. And today's Friday when I'm filming this. So hopefully we can see them on like Monday or something like that but if not totally fine um, my fingers are just crossed you know he's a freaking cutie he's a redhead like me he is my granddad who passed away his namesake as well which is really cute because he can be involved in our wedding and it's kind of like having a little part of my granddad there um, sorry for my hand I'm just keeping the sun out of my eyes it's bright as hell right now brothers but um, yeah just excited to see some family tonight and we're gonna grill with them sleep over there, catch up, just do the whole thing, you know? Take in that sweet Lake Champlain view as well. Ah, can't wait. See y'all later. The Shelburne Farmer's Market is freaking popping today, boys. Look at this. This is incredible. Guys, I'm sorry if you can hear the wind, but we were just driving through outside of Shelburne and I saw for sale sunflowers, a dollar a stem and they have a little pay box. I guess this is their Instagram, Rusty Iron Ranch. Price list, pumpkins of $5 each, corn stalks of $5 each. We only have $1, but I'm gonna go pick my own sunflower. Well, it's definitely out of season. Which one do I want? Which one do I want? I think I want this little tiny one, but I can't really decide. The double one over there. The double one? That is kind of a double one. It could be like a cute one for both of us. It looks like there's actually a big mama down here. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. I'm just gonna harvest it from the other side though. Are you not gonna take the whole stem? I was just gonna turn it around so you can see. What oh. do you think? Looks gorgeous. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the whole stem. Or half of it or something. Nice. There's a, there's a crack you like in a pickle. Crack me like a pickle. Awesome. You know, duplex sunflower. This one's for real. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bug bite on my neck. Hey there, my little peanuts. Today is Saturday, and you know, I'll be honest with y'all, I tied one on pretty hard last night with my aunt and my cousin Jackson. We really partied pretty hard. I was off the beers, I was off the red wine, you know, you know, and I still have a headache today. Also, I think my period is gonna like arrive soon, so I always get that pre-period headache, you know, you know. Anyways, um, today we've just kind of been taking it easy, kind of bopping around town. We went to Shelburne and we went to their little farmer's market, which was happening like right outside of where we got breakfast at um, Rustic Roots, which was really a great 
delicious spot. It was very popular. Um, and thank God we made a reservation this time, am I right? After what we told you yesterday with the restaurant stuff. And then we went from there to the Fiddlehead Brewery because Finley and I both, I mean, I think I can speak for both of us when I say this, but pretty much my favorite brewski that I've had here is the Fiddleheads, especially their double IPAs. Mm, delicious, incredible. So um, we got an IPA there and we're kind of just hanging out at the old brewery, you know, kicking our feet up. And then we just left Shelburne and headed to Huntington. They don't really have a town center, which is what my cousin Jackson was telling me too. He was like, Huntington, like they don't really have that much, which is fine if you want that, but I just want you to know. Um, and so we just kind of like drove through really quick. And then we went up to Bolton, which we just left there. And um, we were just kind of hanging out on the back roads, checking some things out, seeing some sights. And now we are heading down to Moncton and then after we go to Moncton we're gonna head back to Virgin's to pack up our stuff at my aunt's house and we're actually gonna stay for the next like three nights like until our you know trip is done at this like it's kind of like an off-the-grid kind of campsite location on Lake Champlain but on the New York side because a lot of the Airbnbs and hotels and everything are super marked up right now because it's leaf peep in season as you know and um, everything's just really expensive so we found a place that was like pretty cheap I'll let you know how the experience goes on the old Airbnb the lady who hosts it seems really nice and communicative so um, I'll show you guys that when we get over there but we're just gonna hang out on the other side of Lake Champlain kind of check out some things in upstate New York a little bit but we're gonna head to Moncton it's a beautiful gorgeous amazingly sunny Saturday <laughs> mm, looks as though we got a delicious maple creamy Wow Finley got the large. Do you like it? It's very creamy. We got them from Cookie Love in Ferrisburg, Vermont. It's like north of Virgin's. Courtesy of my aunt's recommendation, just as creamy as she said. Incredible. Made it to the old Burlington, brothers. Popping tonight, boys. We're gonna get crazy at Mr. Mike's Pizza. I'm just kidding, we're not going there. hip, very cool place around here. Okay guys, we made it to our cute little trailer for the night, or for the next few nights actually. Um, but basically, this has been like a renovated place just to make it look super cute, you know? And I have all of our bags and shit down here, so just don't mind those. So it has like a full little kitchenette situation here, full little bathroom. That's really cute. I love all the wallpaper that she added in here, especially like this kind of fake looking brick wallpaper situation. And then we have some mirrors back here in the bedroom and a cute little bed. And I'm really excited. There's um an entrance out here as well that goes to like a covered porch and everything. So that's gonna be really nice in the morning, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're working with. Look at this town, guys. This is the town of Cheesy or Cheesy. We don't really know. Jay-Z. Yeah, <laughs> but it's right on the border of Northern New York and Canada. So they have Canadian flags and American flags all throughout the should we, should middle we of the town. Up? Plug a border on, or should we try to blast through? See what happens. I right think that there. that would be like some amazing content. Clickbait, we try to bypass the Canadian border. <laughs> we try to blow through the Canadian border. We totally wake it down. We just like throw our vaccine cards out the window as we go. <laughs> See like, you, losers! Eat that! <laughs> so, right now we are heading to Stowe to check it out for the day. We're gonna go through Jeffersonville on the way down as well and check out Jeffersonville. Finley's very amazed by all of these docked boats that are just- I'm trying to figure out, they're all on like these little rail things. I can't, I'm just trying to figure out how they move them back into the water. I couldn't I like tell you. If you're a big boat head, you know, please comment below on how you can move a docked boat that's on almost like stakes down into the ocean again. Well, this is gorgeous, beautiful Lake Champlain out here, folks. Drinking We're champagne leaving. On Lake Champlain. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're leaving New York right now to head back to Vermont. And we're just gonna be, yeah, hanging around Stowe and Jeffersonville today, kind of just puttering around, seeing what we wanna do. There's like a old bridge that used to be. Yeah, you can kind of see it, but it's looking pretty decayed and then it kind of drops off. It's that brown line in the middle of the water, y'all. It's a wicked in real life. 
I have a couple of surprises up my sleeve for Finley and Stowe just because I got some suggestions that I think he would enjoy doing. So we'll see, you know, as the day goes on, once we're getting into some things, he doesn't really know what we're gonna be doing. Papa Molly, you know what I'm saying. Baby, what? <laughs> you know what this is, baby? This is your day. This is my day. This is your day. Finley loves some crepes, but what did you even get? What are those? These are like kind of crepes. They're like spiral crepes. Yeah, it's like, I forget which kind they are. And then just some eggs and sausage. I got a vegan monster crepe. We're at Skinny Pancake. Do you know where we're going? You could see it from that far away, even with no glasses on. <laughs> really early you found out. Are you excited? I want all of those. <laughs> Can't wait, Stow Cider. It's my birthday. <laughs> Finley got a gummy bear cider. Can I have a cheers before? Wow, delicious. Hey there buddies, it's about 7 p.m. on Monday the 11th of October. It is currently our last full night in Vermont. Let's give it up. I'm a little tipsy right now, I'll be honest. Um, we just left a bar with our friends Carol Ann and her boyfriend Killian, and I just have like a little quick tale to tell you. So, you know our pigs back home in Oregon, Ducky and Peach. We got them from our friend Athena's farm, and Carol Ann this past summer worked for Athena's farm as a woofer, which is the working on organic farms kind of program, which is basically like you go and you provide labor for certain farms, and in turn the people who own on those farms give you groceries and housing so Caroline was doing that and she lives here in Burlington Vermont but she was just staying in Oregon with Athena and we had met her at Athena's kind of like family camp out that she does every summer and um, I really hit it off with her and when she told me she was from Vermont I was like fuck yes we have been like considering moving there and was just talking to her about all the things and I was like you know what we're actually planning on coming there in October I'll hit you up when we come that is tonight when we saw her and met her boyfriend and it was an awesome time. So we went to a place called Three Needs. So if you are a Burlington native, you probably know what I'm referring to. They had pool, they had foosball, they had an awesome kind of just setup and they had a great like outdoor area as well. So we were just kind of hanging out with them. But um, we we're kind of slightly pre-gaming with them also because we're going to see Pine Grove tonight, which is currently my favorite band. I fucking love Pine Grove. I think they're so talented. I've been listening to them so much over the course of just like really the past year. They released a new album that's called Amperland New York and they recorded like acoustic versions of most of their like popular songs and then like re-released them and that's kind of how I discovered them more so. Like I had obviously heard like old friends from them and other kind of more popular songs but um, I didn't really get into them into them until Amperland New York. So um, basically when we were here in Vermont I realized that they had a Burlington show and it was on October 11th. At the time when we were planning the trip, I didn't know if we would still be in town for October 11th. So I was like, maybe we'll go, maybe we won't. And then flights ended up being even cheaper to fly out for us on October 12th. So I was like, damn, like that would be such a sick time to go and see them for our last night in Burlington. And so that's exactly what we're doing tonight. And um, the venue requires like proof of vaccination and all that kind of good stuff. So the last concert that I went to was Daniel Caesar in I think January or February of 2020 before the pandemic so it's been a fucking minute y'all and I am so excited um, so that's gonna be a great time and yeah we were just kind of like pre-gaming with Carol Ann and Killian and just kind of like asking them about living in Burlington 
in and how long they've been here. We've been asking multiple people over the course of this entire trip what they like about the certain areas that we're visiting, obviously. And it kind of depends on what the person that you're talking to is into. Like some people that we're talking to are like super city people. So they're like, I love Burlington. I would never want to move anywhere else. You know what I mean? Like would never move to the farmland around, but other people are like, oh, I think like living on a farm outside of Burlington would be so sick. So you just kind of have to consider like who you're talking to when you um, ask these questions about like where's the right area for you because obviously it's like they don't know what you're into anyways I'm kind of just like on a blabbering note right now but um, I did want to say that that was an amazing time I'm so excited for the show tonight I can't believe that this is our last night of the trip and we're gonna see the freaking dogs tomorrow. We've been gone for almost three weeks. So when we get home, it will have been um, two days shy of being gone for three weeks. So it was definitely a very long journey of being in Georgia, then Virginia, then Vermont here. And we've just covered so much ground and seen so many things. I would say for me personally, and really for Finley, we really love Southern Vermont. I mean, Burlington's really fucking cool and I would love to have this as a close place near us and stuff like that to visit just like how we are centrally located, you know, 50 minutes being centrally located outside of um, Portland right now in Oregon. So, you know, we still have it close by for like the airport and for concerts and whatever. Um, but I feel like it's even closer to be centrally located in like a farm town, like 30, 20, 40 minutes outside of town, outside of Burlington here. So we could do something like that, but I honestly was really just like physically struck by the South. That's not the word I'm looking for. I guess like aesthetically struck by how beautiful it was down there. And I feel like everything was super like spread out and really nice and just like gorgeous scenery. And obviously we're here in October, which is like prime season for just seeing the beauty of Vermont, but it's just been really nice. I'm so glad that we got to like take this trip and kind of just see all of the sights. And tomorrow we're actually going to see more things. So um, like I told you guys the other night, we're staying in upstate New York right now in an Airbnb. So we've been kind of doing a big drive like up and around around into Burlington every day um, to kind of do explorations and see family. I also didn't even tell you guys this, but I met my freaking ring bearer today, who is my cousin's baby. I'm gonna put a photo on the screen of us because I didn't like vlog during that experience. We were just kind of like being there, being present, hanging out with him, um, but it was a great time. So that's what we did earlier today. But anyways, if you guys see clips after this, then they're gonna be at the Pine Grove concert, brothers. So see you there. <laughs> Market in Paulette, Vermont is doing God's work. Shout out to my Uncle Rob for saying we should drive through this town because we were really hungry and just wanted to stop off for food. And there's always like these grocery kind of like natural food markets around instead of like corner stores and they just have immaculate goods. Girlies? Peachy! Hi! Hi, Peachy! What's going on? I missed you. I'm gonna come right in there. I'm gonna cuddle you so hard. Ducky, hey, Ducky. Why don't you come on over here? Hey. She doesn't even care. Ducky literally doesn't even care. I missed you. I missed you. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Oregon. So happy to be home. I wanted to kind of film this as like a post-trip reflection and also kind of just summarize what the trip was for us, whether it's the takeaways that we got from certain areas or the route that we took and all of that kind of good stuff because I always get questions about how we plan our road trips. And to that question, I'm just going to say we don't really plan our road trips. We're very fly by the seat of our pants kind of people. And we just rented the car in Hartford and then we were like, okay, well, you know, we got to drive up and cross the border into Vermont. So let's start in the South. And you know what? I'm just going to include a clip now 
out of our general route so that if you want to do this trip or you want to know where we went specifically and what we saw, especially if I didn't vlog it, then here you go, okay? Here's all the info on the places we went. So we started down here going to Guilford, Brattleboro, Dummerston, Newfane, Putney, where else did we go down here? Marlboro, Wilmington. We also went to Dover, Jamaica, Townsend. Drove through all of these places while we were there as well, Westminster. And then when we left the south down here, we drove up to Ludlow, drove through Plymouth, Bridgewater, Woodstock, which is where Queechy was over here as well. And then we went up and over more this way. So along that route, we drove through Pomfret, Royalton, Bethel, Rochester, Hancock, Granville, Ripton, Middlebury, <laughs> New Haven, Bristol, and ended in Virgins. And while we were around Virgins, we went to Ferrisburg, Moncton, Hinesburg, Huntington, Starksboro, Richmond, Bolton, Waterbury. And then the next day we went to Westford, Stowe, Jeffersonville, which is somewhere in here. And when we went back to Burlington, we drove through Linder Hill, Jericho, Essex, Williston, South Burlington, and Shelburne. And then when we would stay in our Airbnb on the other side of Lake Champlain in West Chazy, we would drive all the way through Colchester, Winoski, Milton, Georgia, St. Albans, Swanton, and then went over through these islands on Lake Champlain and down here. And then on our last day when we were over here and instead of coming back over this way to all these areas we'd already been, we went back down through here and we went to Paulette, Dorset, and Manchester before heading home. So on that last day, what I just showed you about coming back through Dorset and Paulette and Manchester, I wasn't vlogging those very heavily. I was kind of just doing some very, you know, like scenic kind of landscape shots. More so to say goodbye to the land because it's very hard to, you know, leave such beautiful fall foliage like that. But we are in fall here in Oregon, hence why I'm wearing a freaking beanie and I'm in a cozy paint stained sweater, okay? It's beautiful here, but honestly besties, it ain't anywhere close to the beauty of the Northeast right now with all of those trees. It was an immaculate time to go and see all of that kind of gorgeousness. I fucking loved it. I ate it up every last leaf. That was me. <laughs> no, but really, uh, we had such a great time, man. It was fantastic. I know that kind of on that like last night in Burlington clip before we went to the Pine Grove show, I was kind of just talking to my camera and being like, hey, this is kind of how we feel. We really are both leaning towards Southern Vermont and we are still both leaning towards Southern Vermont. It'll also be milder winters because Vermont gets fucking crazy cold. But honestly, I would personally rather try really really hot dry wildfire ridden smoky summers here in the west for some harsh winters over in the northeast so that's my personal thoughts on that you know do as you please I ain't advising anybody to do anything that's just how we feel so that being said now it's fall and we're starting to just kind of look around at the housing market out in Vermont because we do want to buy y'all know that we have been trying to buy in Oregon for literally like a year and a half if not more and every time I do a Q&A people are like when are you moving are you still wanting to find a house to buy and I'm like why is everything a million dollars and it's like just so exhausting and I know all of my Vermont people will be like, oh my God, the pricing out here is just as crazy. It's so high in everything. But honestly, compared to here, it is not. We also want land for the pigs and all that kind of good pizzazz and uh, seasonings, you know? We got a lot of requirements for what we want to see, but I'm trying to not have my expectations too high because we could always buy something and rent it out later in life or flip it and sell it or do whatever. You know, it's not that serious. A lot of people are like, oh my God, buying a house. Why don't you rent in the place first? And we're like, you know, 
I would do that, but this is actually what I want to do is I want to buy. <laughs> so that's still what we're leaning towards. I know I'm going to get questions about that. And also a number one question I've been getting um, on Twitch because I'm back streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time, baby, on twitch.tv slash Megan Hughes. My first stream back, I got a lot of questions of when are you leaving Oregon? And to that I say, when we find a house. <laughs> because it's not like we're actually gonna move until we have a place to live. And so we're just here hanging out, scouring the online housing market over in Vermont and trying to see what we're working with, you know? But until then, we're here. We're gonna be home here, thank until December when we go home for Christmas. And you guys will see all of that in Vlogmas because yes, you girl is probably doing Vlogmas, but that's a completely separate side note and tangent and everything like that. And you know, I just feel like this vlog was kind of just a mixture of like me talking and nature <laughs> while Finley was just driving. And I was like, hey y'all, what's going on? Hello, it's me again. So I hope you guys liked that energy because it was nice to just be able to have you guys in the car with us. You know what I mean? Love a road trip vlog. We used to do them a ton back when we were living in LA and coming up to find places in Oregon, which you guys already got my blab about that earlier in this vlog, but um, it was really nice to be able to do that again and just kind of map out the state and figure out where we wanna be positioned and all of that kind of good stuff. And um, you guys will see on that map of the route that we took, the reason we chose those areas is because those were the most suggested to us to go. Maybe in the future, we'll make another trip where we do visit more of the kind of like Northeastern corner of Vermont and stuff like that closer to New Hampshire. I mean, granted, we did go to Walpole and Keene, but those are way more like Southern and I've been to Haverhill before, but we didn't spend too much time over in that neck of the woods. But at the end of the day, I want to live in Vermont for all of the reasons that I listed in this caption on my Instagram page. And I don't really want to move to New Hampshire or to upstate New York. That was something that we also gathered from this trip, but being positioned in Southern Vermont would be really convenient. And I'm very excited for this next chapter and just kind of sharing the like start of it with you guys. So nothing is set in stone. We just really liked it and we've made the decision of yes, we do want to move there, but until we like have a place, then this is just what you get for now, okay? So <laughs> that's my update. I love you. It was a fantastic time. I'm so happy we got to share it with you guys and I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring that notifications bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. I know it's been few and far between but besties I'm gonna be better because now I'm back home and getting back into my routine okay and I have a patreon page if you want to go and support me on there and my twitch which I mentioned earlier which I'm streaming on three times a week and if you want more of me you know where to find me I love you so much stay smiling bye y'all